We want to talk now to one of the delegates, potential delegates, joining me from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a candidate for delegate, Mark Skaringi, who has pledged his support to Donald Trump. Mark, thanks for being with us today. As, as we learned from Jacob, when people go to choose their delegates, it will not say on the ballot whether or not they are supporting someone. Um, so how many people do you think in your area know that you are, in fact, intending to cast your vote for Donald Trump? Well, I really thank you, Erica. Thank you for having me on. I really have no idea what the answer to that question is. I will tell you that I've been shouting from the roof, rooftops in every manner possible that I'm supporting Donald Trump. So I've done radio and television. The Trump campaign is doing robocalls. We have palm cards. We're, we are, we're pulling out all of the stops to make sure that the voters in my congressional district know that uh, I'm supporting Donald Trump. And have you spoken personally to Donald Trump or to the campaign, and have they promised you anything? I've spoken to Donald Trump. I've worked with the campaign since December of 2015. Uh, they have promised me nothing. Uh, this is something that I decided to do on my own because I think Donald Trump is the best candidate uh, to put uh, America back uh, in its proper place as the, as the leading uh, country uh, in the world. Um, the Trump campaign, as we know, Donald Trump specifically, has been very critical of this delegate process and it being used to pick the person who runs for the highest office in the land. Do you agree with it? Well, I think that the process is fine here in Pennsylvania. We don't live in a direct democracy. We live in a representative republic where we voters elect our representatives to go to Harrisburg or to go to Washington, D.C., uh, and we entrust them to vote uh, what's uh, in our best interests. And so that's the way I have uh, considered uh, my role as a delegate to the Republican National Convention, that I think it's in the best interests of the people of the 4th Congressional District and the people of Pennsylvania that Donald Trump be the Republican nominee. When you heard news of this alliance between the Cruz and the Kasich campaigns, what was your first thought? Collusion, the establishment getting together to do everything in its power to derail Donald Trump. Uh, the, I, I have long been saying that the establishment will get behind Ted Cruz and use him as a stalking horse to attempt to deny Trump the 1237 that he needs on the first ballot. And that's exactly what's happened. Lindsey Graham, Jeb Bush, and others have gotten behind uh, Ted Cruz. And now we see John Kasich, who is the embodiment of the establishment, colluding and working with Ted Cruz to deny Trump the nomination. We will all be watching to see what happens tomorrow. Mark Scringy, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.